Behind me are quaking aspen or trembling aspen. They're in the family Selicaceae, the genus Populus, and the specific epithet is Tremuloides. So Populus Tremuloides is the species name. Let's take a closer look at some of its characteristics. The bark on quaking or trembling aspen can be green or it can be a bright white, but unlike paper birch, the bark will not peel off. The color changes in response to maybe the cultivar that it is or the amount of sunlight that it's getting. Brighter sun typically results in a whiter bark. If it's a little bit shaded along the trunk, you'll get a little greener bark. Here you can see the leaves, they're almost uh, round, It'll come to a little bit of a tip on some, and they have a lightly toothed edge or margin. These, like the cottonwood, also have a flattened petiole, which allows them to quake or tremble uh, in a breeze. The twig is fairly slender and has a pointed bud, but much, much smaller than what's seen in other species in the populous genus. Some of the quaking aspen have been bred or hybridized with other species in the populous genus to form various landscape varieties. But this gives us still a sense that it's a single trunk um, tree with a very narrow crown. And as you can see at the top, if this were growing in a forest, really all you'd see is that uh, dense tuft of foliage at the top. And if it's a forest of all quaking aspen, you can really hear that just in the wind.